First, sign in into your iFit Live account. Then select the Create icon on the top right menu. Here you can create three different kinds of workout map, distance, or time. Let's begin with the time workout. Select the first dot and customize your speed and time. Add some other and place them where you like to create your desired workout. Now that you customized your speed and time, let's customize your incline. And if your treadmill has the decline function, you can also adjust it here. In this section, you can change the duration of your workout. As you can see, I added 15 minutes to my workout, so now I have to do some more adjustment. Now all I have to do is name my workout. Everything is the way you like, just save it. To have a look at your workout calendar, select the schedule menu. And here, if you select calendar view, you can change your workout to different date just by moving them. Select the create icon on the top right menu for a different workout. If you want to create a distance workout, it is the same step as we did for the time workout. And if you want to create a map based workout, just follow these steps. Enter a location. Search for the street or place you would like to run. And just click on the street to create your path. Then name your workout. Now that you did create your map based workout, you can also customize the speed and time. If you decide not to do so, you will have to do it manually with your treadmill. Once you're done, click Save. Now, let's see how to use our workout with the treadmill. As you can see, as soon as you start the workout, your treadmill will adjust the speed and the incline or the decline if your treadmill allow you so. This map do not allow the street view, but I will show you an example later on. Now let's have a look at the time-based workout. Now, let's see a street view example. First, sign in into your iFit Live account. Then select the Create icon on the top right menu. Here you can create three different kinds of workout, map, distance, or time. 